Democratic Congressman Tim Ryan is a firm believer in the stimulus. Wonder if he still is. Having said, the federal dollars will bring jobs. Congressman, first of all, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. All right, so what do you make of this? You know, we got to get to AIG, yes, but let's talk about the Caterpillar news today. The president there saying, hey, stimulus, it would be the uh, be all, save all, especially for Caterpillar. They could hire more workers. Well, today they're letting go of a lot more workers. How do you rationalize, justify that? Well, I don't know if you can rationalize it. I think it signals the continued downward spiral that the economy is in and the stimulus package is working in some areas. Um, it may not uh, be available for Caterpillar. They do a lot of exporting and, and part of the global problem is affecting Caterpillar. Not so much what's happening here in America because they're so uh, reliant on exports, but in Columbus, Ohio, for example, the stimulus package allowed 25 police officers who were not going to be on the streets in Columbus to be on the streets because of the stimulus package. So no one's saying that we're going to bat a thousand with this thing, but I think, you know, given the extreme consequences, the extreme situation that we're in, it's important, it was important for us to do it and continue to push these kind of measures. Although the Caterpillar thing, uh, they're more dependent on the global economy, I think is the answer to that question. Yeah, but, but uh, Congressman, not according to that clip right there. According to that clip, this stimulus package, and, and, and really he was there, Obama was there to sell his stimulus package. That package mm -hmm. being signed was going to save companies or help companies like Caterpillar rehire per workers that were laid off. Not only are they not rehiring, they're laying off more workers. Is this thing a failure? No, of course not. I don't think most of the stimulus has even kicked in yet. I gave you one example in Columbus, Ohio, where it's been a, a major success. 25 more cops on the beat in Columbus. That means a lot to that community. Now, if, if there's a huge downturn in China, in India, and a lot of these other developing countries in Europe where Caterpillar was exporting their products, it's hard to project you know, how bad that ripple effect uh, is going to be. And obviously, it affected Caterpillar. Listen, this should not be a game of gotcha. I mean, we're trying to improve the economy here. We're trying to put money into the economy. And there are going to be situations where it's just not going to work out. But that doesn't mean you can't try. And, and like I said, in Columbus, it worked out. And I think right. overall, the stimulus is going to benefit everyone. Right. Congressman, I just got to say, I do think it's got to be a game of gotcha. We very much want to know that we're getting a bang for our buck. Are you sure that these policies are not what's causing more layoffs? It's the, no confidence because we can't tell what the laws are like because you guys keep changing them. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about the fact that in, in this very case, the, Congressman, I, I, in, in all seriousness, when you guys are sitting here putting out... No, I don't know what you're talking about. You're saying we're changing the You're giving the billions of you dollars. You're funneling billions of dollars to white-collar criminals, to corporations, to AIG, to Wall Street, and then you're telling us that, hey, we're not going to bat a thousand. We don't need to be a gotcha moment. We, this is a gotcha moment. We are very outraged that you guys have put trillions of dollars through Washington, and we're still getting layoffs at Caterpillar. We're as outraged as anybody. You think, I mean, if you think we're happy about it, you're crazy. But the bottom line is we're dealing with a global economy. It's very complex. You don't know which companies at the end of the day are always going to benefit. You can't pinpoint. What we're saying is overall we need an injection of 800 billion. I thought the stimulus should have been a lot more and we had to do it. It's, you know, this hand was dealt to President Obama. This wasn't something that, that we created. This could have all been prevented. Now we're met, uh, left to clean it up and sometimes every single, uh, you know, shot that you take doesn't necessarily hit the mark like with Caterpillar because of the global uh, Right. Uh, recession and eventual depression. Right. So, uh, you know, uh, we're not going to be able to bail out every single company through this thing. We're just trying to do the best we can. Not even the Let's ones that, that, that uh, were part of that Obama moment. All right, let's stay there for a minute, Congressman. We know you're our outraged over AIG as we are. New York Senator Chuck Schumer sending a message today to AIG Chairman Edward Liddy. Take a listen. If he, if Mr. Liddy does nothing, we will act and we will take this money back and return it to its rightful owners, the American taxpayers. We will take this money back by taxing virtually all of it. So let the recipients of these large and unseemly bonuses be warned. If you don't return it on your own, we'll do it for you. All right, we're now getting this from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. The Speaker saying they could look at legislation this week on those bonuses 
They're going to try and, quote, recoup a substantial portion of the bonuses through a special taxation, end quote. Congressman Ryan is taxing the answer. Let me take this. Forget that question. Here's the question I have for you. We found that the part of this bonus protection was implemented after the initial loan to AIG through the what we're calling or what I'm calling the Dodd Amendment, sir. I asked you this on a show earlier. You didn't answer it. You had to go make a vote or something. Are you at all concerned that Chris Dodd is the number one recipient of AIG campaign contributions across the spectrum, House, Senate, Democrat, Republican, you name it, he's the number one, yet he protected those bonuses with that addendum to, to, the, to the original proposal? Well, I don't think it's clear that, that he knowingly did anything wrong, but the bottom line, I think, is that Chris Dodd has said that he is supportive of what Chuck Schumer was just talking about. He's supportive about getting the money back, and I think that's really, at the end of the day, what matters. How do we get this money back? And I think what Senator Schumer was saying, what Congressman Israel and Maloney said today in our press conference, is that we're going to tax these bonuses at 100 percent, and we're going to get the money back. Now, we could have the arguments like you guys were having earlier about how you do it, and the law and anarchy and all this stuff you guys are talking we could have that debate for another six months this is the cleanest way to do it we put on hundred percent tax if you got tarp money and you got a bonus you will pay hundred percent tax over a hundred thousand dollar bonus and we get that money immediately back we, we can't sit around and have these Can arguments you do it that to the office in London as well well, it'll depend on some of the employees. If they're not American workers, there'll be a different standard. But there is uh, most of the work is being done here, and uh, the, most of the money I think we can recoup back. And then there's also this other $30 billion that the, the president and Gibbs were talking about yesterday about carving out some of that money to get that back, too. So I think everybody's in agreement. We're all outraged. These people on Wall Street just don't get it, and they need to be taken to the woodshed. That's the that bottom part. line. And this, is, this, is one way, this is one way to do it. And don't let them find any loopholes with it not being bonus instead of just salary. Limit it. If you get TARP money, you're capped at 100 k All right. You All right, Congressman. It. Congressman Ryan, thank you very much. Thank you.